Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and um, today I will be talking about um, how to use collateral margin um, in Zerodha uh, trading uh, from, from your Zerodha trading account. So uh, I have made um, a couple of videos earlier uh, regarding uh, pledging of shares um, and um, someone has um, pointed out uh, asking to give, uh, give a demo. Uh, on on the same. So this is like this is exactly what I would be showing today. So once uh, please please log in. Once you log into um, Zerodha terminal, you have to go to q.zerodha.com and you will come to this um, uh, dashboard page here. And uh, you can click on here portfolio and click on holdings. Uh, okay. So these are my holdings. As I told you, I you know I do not recommend or uh, I do not suggest uh, you to take these positions as of now this is um, just just completely my research and based on my understanding I personally have taken these positions so once you go to this page um, you can see the these are your holdings at the moment some of these uh, holdings are from small case and some of them are from um, directly um, which I purchased the stock and some of them um, are ETFs too. So again, um, I have spoken about ETFs also before, uh, but ETFs, especially liquid bees, are one of the most safest, most safe um, investments which you can make, um, which will provide you almost approximately eight uh, percent yearly returns, just like an any FD. And then you can use the same collateral to uh, to um, to hold or uh, sell options or um, um, just like covered calls and um, get get some decent monthly returns so how, how it is working is if you are having a, a, a free cash in your account uh, you are basically not doing any it's an idle money so if you are keeping an idle money it's not growing please do remember this so even if in your bank account is growing at a very very low rate uh, if you are keeping it in your dmat account and your trading account that is that money is not growing at all so it does make sense if you put in any ETF like liquid bees or nifty bees and then use the collateral. So uh, nifty, uh, liquid bees uh, usually provide 8% uh, uh, yearly returns just like any FD and uh, uh, it is um, usually taxed as per um, in any stocks just like any ETFs. Uh, so what you do is you have to co use um, uh, you can use collateral and um, keep making monthly returns 3% even if you can make 3 to 4% monthly returns you can easily catch up to 30% returns which is much much more than any mutual funds so 30% yearly, uh, yearly returns from your collateral and plus 8% uh, returns are really really good uh, 40 uh, almost 38 to 40% returns on your idle money it's not an idle money but um, it's um, it's like an any fd uh, no fd can give you uh, no mutual fund can guarantee you almost uh, 30 to 40 percent returns yearly returns all right so again so i um, uh, probably will have to discuss that um, uh, yearly returns in a different topic but that's how you make your idle money work for you even when you're sleeping so here uh, as you can see this is this is your holdings currently and uh, you can um, there, there is a list of haircuts available so that means if you have invested 1 lakh here um, uh, you know, on ETFs usually you get 90% um, margin so 90,000 you can pledge it and use it to sell options and and, uh, and keep making monthly returns so um, again as I told you uh, for uh, those kind of strategies there, there would be a different video in this video I'm just going to show you how you can actually do it so for example I'm just liquid bees I've actually taken only a couple of days ago that's the reason it's not showing here option to pledge I'll, I'll select this um, okay I will just click here and um, if I click uh, South South Bank South Indian Bank and there is an option the last column would be pledge and if you click on this column here and quantity since I have 2000 uh, uh, quantity here, I can put 2000 and then, uh, okay, I'll just, just show you. And uh, so here is the uh, information what you will get. Haircut is 13.83%. Collateral margin to be available to be used is approximately 
24,989. So, uh, and these are the um, charge. Cost of a pledge is 60 rupees plus GST, um, irrespective of uh, the quantity of the stock pledge. So, even if you are pledging um, uh, 10 lakh or 20 lakhs, the the margin or the um, <coughs> the um, the um, uh, the, the charges from Zoroda will remain the same, 60 rupees plus GST. And um, also, please do remember that this is usually done on the um, stock value. So that means um, if the stock value has come down, so you, my investment value here, as you can see, it's around. Uh, okay, I'll have to. Uh, okay, okay, I cannot just show you because this page is showing. Okay, uh, all right. So I think. Alright, I think I'm not sure if I already pledged it or not, but um, I think I didn't pledge it. I'm not very sure right now. Okay, alright, I will check that on my ledger on, on another day. So, uh, here as you can see, the present value is around 29,000 and um, you can you could see that the, the pledging is usually done on the present value and not the buy value. Buy value was approximately around 41,000 was my buy value, but the um, uh, usually pledging is usually done on the present value so it does make sense because uh, liquid bees and uh, bees the, the etfs of index does not um, vary much um, the stocks usually have have a big amount um, and uh, uh, sorry the stocks usually um, are volatile and can go up and down that's the reason um, it does make sense if you invest in something like a liquid bees or there is another ETF called uh, NASDAQ 100N100. So if you click on pledge here, um, you will get an option of um, uh, almost you'll in, 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 a, uh, in an ETF you will get 90% uh, margin. That means if, if there is 1 lakh uh, rupees here and the present value usually remains the same most of the time and 90% margin you will get. So this 90% can be used to um, uh, hold um, hold futures or even uh, uh, sell options because selling options require a huge margin and uh, that's, that's where you benefit from this strategy. So please do remember that your capital, the, the capital of this amount is already appreciating by almost around 8% uh, per year and you're using the same capital to trade and make monthly income. So in that way, basically you are benefiting twice from the same amount. So that's exactly um, the, the power of uh, idle money. It's basically not an idle money. Uh, even though you have invested, you're not doing anything for it. Um, for example, if you have plans to hold one particular stock for the next 10 years or 20 years, you're not doing anything with that money. Same goes with your FD, um, fixed deposits. Now, what you do is you can you keep it for there and you know exactly how much you're going to get returns out of it and there is no appreciation of it. So that that is an ideal idle money and someone else is using especially if you're putting in a bank that money is not used by you in any case but whenever you put it in a trading account or on an ETF like this your capital is already appreciating with the returns which you get it usually and if you are able to make monthly returns also, the yearly returns will be huge. And that's exactly my point here was when I uh, spoke about collateral and pledging. And most of the brokers do provide it. Um, Zeroza also has it. Um, you can actually go through my um, inform uh, earlier video about pledging or how to use collateral. And uh, that will give you a clear picture of what I was talking about. This is just a demonstration as how to pledge it based on your earnings. So, but as I told you, you need to have a clear understanding about um, uh, which ETF you're not going to touch it. For example, this ETF in my case, I'm not going to touch it. Um, uh, at least, I don't know, uh, but uh, this is like a um, idle money. If you are keeping idle cash in your trading account, it's you should actually keep it in, um, in fixed deposit, something like liquid bees, and then use that collateral to, to, to trade every day. So, okay. hope you um, got my point here. Uh, but in case uh, if uh, something is not clear, feel free to comment on um, on the description, the video comments here. And uh, yeah, again, if you also have uh, other questions relating to this topic, please feel free to comment on this uh, video below. So, 
Um, thank you and I will see you again on the next video.